Welcome to the Token Trans Podcast, where two token trans guys talk life, love, and getting high. Grab a J and join us. We do not condone the consumption of illicit activities with anyone under the age of 21. The following episode might contain discussions of things that might make some uncomfortable. Keep in mind that we'll be talking about our chests, which may trigger some dysphoria for others. Oh. Aaron, how's it going? It's been three months since our last episode. What's new? It's been three months since we spoke. But no, that's not true. No. It's been three <laughs> we months since our last episode. In the meantime, it's been forever and it's 100% my fault. I had to go off and get married <laughs> and that was a whole bunch of work. So I was just floored with stuff, but we're back and I am excited to be sitting here and smoking with Beau Dubois. How are you, Bo? How are things <laughs> over there? I'm good. It's, you know, uh, since our last episode, as you know, I've gotten a promotion, just a little bit of a promotion, to a full-time Transcape employee. My boy. <laughs> yes. So now me and Bo work full-time together with Kayla, even. Yeah. Together full time. Mrs. Yeah. Kapener. With Mrs. Kapener. That's okay. Kapener. I always I'll forget. Kapener. Yeah, no, it's it's super fun. And we've been having fun together. I love Kayla. She's the best in the whole world. And she's the perfect wife. You probably work so. closer with Kayla than I do. And I, yeah, I can do, see her she's... from my desk. <laughs> she's on the help desk with me. We're always. Yes. We're always talking to each other. She's the best. So, speaking of trans tape, we were going to make this episode about trans tape tips. We are. We're covering stuff that you guys will not necessarily hear in every tutorial or in every episode or every story. I mean, this kind of stuff is a little off the wall, but it's stuff that we get asked often that can be the actual thing that like tips you in the right direction to get your trans tape on correctly in a way that is euphoric. Yeah. And some of it se- might seem a little silly, but it really does help. So before you put the tape on, Aaron, you, when you cut you cut your sections, the those corners, they're squared off. And when I put them on, when I put the tape on like that, I get blisters. What should I what should I do? See, there's a there's a big problem that you're skipping there. And if you're watching some of my earlier tutorials or some of trans tape even tutorials they're not always the corners are are that that 90 degree angle and we've discovered that that actually causes blisters it it doesn't um even out that tension so it's really on that it's going to pull super super hard instead of like distributing that throughout the round so you definitely have to round your edges you got to have some scissors they can't be super crappy scissors. I mean, they can, but you're gonna struggle like me and like you just have to randomly just have that. Some nice scissors always helps. Um, and rounding the corners, all four corners of your piece, no matter how big or small, has to be rounded. Yes. But what do you think, Bo? Yes. I agree. And might I also throw in a little tip that fabric scissors work really good yeah the particular brand that i had was uh fisker's titanium fabric shears they work fantastic i can cut four pieces at once which is great because you know i layer and i use four you pieces already design, know so. that that's going to yeah, be really late below. a lot of time so you guys can find us <laughs> if you need them. Aaron, i'm having a problem here me? Like yeah. my tape, when I put it on, I just, I'm feeling like it's not sticking. Sometimes when I put it on and I move, it pops up and I'm like, why are you not sticking on the edges? Why is it not sticking in general? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You think you can help me, babe? Yes, Aaron. When the tape doesn't stick, your skin might be oily and the tape doesn't want to stick to anything that's oily. So what you're going to want to do is make sure your skin is clean and dry. And another thing 
that you might not consider is that the moisturizing capabilities of the soap or body wash that you're using. Even conditioner, if it gets down there, you're going to want to make sure you rinse and wash all that off of you because a lot of moisturizing soaps deposit oils on your skin. So even though you may be clean, you're still covered in this oil that trans tape doesn't want to stick to. So you can prevent that by taking some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol in its liquid form, not a hand sanitizer, because sometimes hand sanitizers will have moisturizing agents in them for your hands. So you want to make sure that it's the isopropyl rubbing alcohol liquid and clean your chest down good and let it air dry completely. You can stand in front of a fan or the AC like I do. And also... Applying sometimes, and I get, I get so hot and sweaty, you know. So, so true. Ever so Ever since true I people. started testosterone. <laughs> I'm just so sweaty. So, true. so sweaty. And my trans tape won't stick to me. Will when not work. When I, it, like, application when you're sweaty just doesn't happen. Right. After application, you can get sweaty and it'll stay on. But that initial application, if you're sweaty underneath the tape, it's not going to stick. So you're going to want to make sure that you're in a nice, calm state of mind. So you're not overheating and getting frustrated and hot. Stand in front of a fan or AC unit. I have one of those big, those big opera fans I fan on myself. Um any anything like that make sure you're not already wearing deodorant too and you might want to keep the backer paper on when you apply like we demonstrated in some of our videos i can't do that i haven't found a way to successfully do that but the more you touch the tape the less adhesive it's going to be that's why it's not reusable right like as soon as you take it off you can't put it back on it's not going to be sticky anymore so you want to make sure you're handling the tape as little as possible by, like, not touching the adhesive. Hey, Aaron. You and I have hairy chests. We do. And, you know, t tape tape and band-aids and hair, like, that's a pain in the butt. What should I do with my hairy chest? Ah, uh, I totally get that, okay? I have hairy chest. I got hair on my Same, chest. Same, honestly. More than I thought I would get after starting testosterone. But it's oh. not out of hand, in my opinion. Like, I still enjoy it. Like, Kayla doesn't think it's, like, gross yeah. or anything. Like, it's not like it's, like... It's good for me. The point is, sometimes if you have long hair on your chest, the trans tape will... It, like, when you're moving around, oh. it will pull on the, the hairs in the wrong places in different ways and so if you apply and then you kind of like stretch you can feel it pulling on those hairs and then that's not comfortable so what really what you're supposed to do what will help a lot is if you can get like electric trimmers and trying to just on like the the like the lowest guard and just being able just to do just that area so just like i don't have tape on but whatever it's like just across this like some guys I know, like Jamie, uh, he, he only does that one strip. He only shaves that one strip. And then that also helps him to see where it goes right. the next time. So he's like every application, yeah. it's on point. So that can be super helpful. Um, if you don't have a trimmer, you can always use clippers and just go, you know, try and just get it as low as you can. Um, but the big thing is not to shave completely bald because, and this is super important if you're using trans tape for packing as well, because if you're putting it straight on bald skin, it's going to, I mean, it's nice. It feels soft at first and you think it's going to have a nice clean application. But when you're, those follicles start to grow back and it's going to cause a lot of skin irritation. A lot of times it can make like your acne really worse, help you break out. Um, so yeah, so you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping the area trimmed if you're having problems with that, for sure. That's a That's great, great tip. tip. Yeah. It's yeah. also so going to make removal, removal more comfortable, comfortable for you. Yeah. Yes, because then it's not hairs. a waxing sesh. Right, we don't want a waxing sesh. Uh. Absolutely not. I use a, I use the small, I like a smaller medium, um, and I, I don't shave. I tried once to do it, and it just, it didn't feel right. I felt like it would be like if I, sh if you shaved under your arms when you don't shave on your arms. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Oh no, it just doesn't feel right to me. So. Yeah. yeah. No, I hear you. I um. 
I had. To, can you tell? <laughs> can you tell where I should? Yes. See, <laughs> at least you know. See, that helps. That. That it looks does good. Help, it really does. <laughs> I'm glad you're taped up. I am not. I'm on, I'm on a break day. I'm on a mental yeah, health break. Yeah, my break, break day, day ended today. <laughs> I was also curious. Overstretching the tape. Talk to me about overstretching. Yes. Sometimes. Listen. Sometimes. I don't take my own advice. <laughs> Of course, it's so it, that happens to everybody. It's so easy to be like, you know, you should do it this way, and then just not. But you know, you really should be doing it the way that I tell everybody to do it every time. Because we will suffer as well. <laughs> I mean, we are not immune. This yeah. shit hurts us too if we do it wrong. Like we have to take it seriously, right? So when you overstretch your tape, Aaron, quite a few things can happen, and none of them are good. When you overstretch your tape, say you ju- this is your first time applying, you pull it, you grab the end of it, you pull it all the way to the end, and then lay it down. That The ends of your tape are going to be pulling towards each other because you just pulled the elastic tape as much as it'll go. And now the ends of the tape are going to be pulling your skin constantly, constantly. And then you're moving, and your skin's being pulled and also wiggling around. And that's going to cause blisters, irritation, itching, burning, pain, which will all be indications that you should remove your tape as soon as possible. And that can still happen even if you round your corners. Right. Yes. It can absolutely still happen even if you don't uh, round your corners. Um, So what you want to do is lay down the first couple inches with no pulling on the tape at all. Any stretching should happen after that, just in the middle of the tape, and you don't want to stretch it to max capacity. Only stretch it about 50% of what its stretching capabilities are, and then lay it down while there's still a couple inches of tape left, and then you smooth that down completely flat with no pulling. And what that's going to do is help distribute the tension from the pull across the slack edge so that way there's no the tape isn't going to be constantly pulling on your skin like that yeah i think that's see the the way that like how many years have we been doing this and like i just realized that there's like like you explaining it in that way made so much more sense to me and it's easier way to communicate with people that like uh, if it's, if you have your anchor strip on and you're pulling it 100% as far as it will go, that's 100. So you have to go back 50 before you lay it down. And that was, I was like, oh my gosh, that just hit me. So it's just funny how, like, no matter how many years you're on, get on trans tape, <laughs> using trans tape, uh, it, I mean, you could still learn new things. And when you explain it to people, you could be the person that explains it in a way that other people wouldn't under, of, of understood otherwise man that is it. right yeah no yeah sometimes it takes like a certain series of words to get something to click in your head yeah and that's totally fine and another thing that that's gonna do you when you stretch your tape all the way it's gonna leave wrinkles in your skin and you can you can see it because it's you stretch the tape all to hell yeah, yeah. i noticed that one of my and videos wrinkles. even that i posted I went back and looked at it, and I could see all of the wrinkles in my tape, and I was like, ooh, yeah. that's not the greatest example, but, you know, we're learning. Yeah. Yeah. It's, there's no problem with it, you know, but like we say all the time, there's a learning curve. Yeah. And bodies are constantly changing anyway. My tutorials at the beginning, my first tutorial for trans tape, I used three section size pieces, and then I started gaining weight. My chest was getting bigger, and so I needed to increase the size of my tape. And so I was using three section pieces underneath the four section pieces so that the ends of the tape would all touch my skin. And then now I'm using all four se- all four section pieces. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's in your first video on your YouTube too, right? Oh, yeah. But even before I did any trans tape tutorials, the first one on my YouTube. Yeah. Because I, I was just looking at your YouTube the other day to tag you, and I think the first episode, which is on the YouTube, and I was I was I went to tag you, and I was like, but does he have a YouTube channel? I wonder if he posts them on there. And then I saw that you had the one video, and I was like, yes, that's my boy, boy. 
you know, the one. Hey, <laughs> yeah. everybody has different platforms they prefer. The, yeah, so there's no problem with your application style changing to fit your needs. If one way works for you one week and then you decide that, oh, you heard that you shouldn't stretch 100% and only 50%, and now you have to change your method to better suit your, your needs. It's Be safer. Totally fine. What about the center of your chest? If it's like getting like where the tape's not, but it's like pulling, you know, you know about this. Yes, like over your sternum, like this at the very center of your chest. We get a lot of people that say that that area gets red and irritated, itchy or tight feeling. And that's the part that no, no tape is touching. Tape might not even be near that area, but you feel a kind of tightness. Maybe like you don't have full range of motion there. Um, what you can do is moisturize that area with our repairing salve or your favorite moisturizer. Try to keep it fragrance free and try to keep it away from the ends of your trans tape. That'll just help moisturize the area, help with the skin elasticity and um, help with the itchiness as well to rehydrate that skin there. But you might also be pulling too hard. If your breasts live very close together, it can be really hard to separate them. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a natural gap. Like, I have a natural gap. Right, so, so do I. So I don't worry about that. But the ones that are, like, like, real, like physically right next to each other naturally... Right, exactly. They're used to being against each other. Right. Then you might have a bit of an issue with that, that pulling sensation in there. Just don't, just try not to pull too much. And another thing you can do is move the, the start of your trans tape further away from your sternum. Ooh, that's a great yeah. So I've seen some people apply their trans tape on the outside of their nipple and just... Like leaving their nipple exposed and just using the tape to pull their side boob to the side, and then it just gives them a peck with their nipple. With their pointing, natural nipple. With their natural nipple in like a natural cis male position. Oh I can't do that. <laughs> My titties are too big for that. Yeah. But it's really cool to see when It makes me think like can I do it? Like it makes you think like I th- I think you might be able to do it, Aaron. Oh, yeah. So what if what if I'm like super itchy? Like no matter what I do, I've done. I've rounded my corners. I'm only pulling 50 percent. I swear to God, I am. (laughs) I'm not overstretching my tape. I'm not. There's no tension on the ends, but I just can't. And it's uncomfortable and I can't deal with it anymore. What should I do? Okay. All right. So there's a few things that I'm thinking. One, the main thing is milk of magnesia. So Kai, the owner of TransSafe, told me about this. To be able to put a thin layer, um, pretty much what it is, it's, I have it over there somewhere. It's a, it's a milk, it looks like a little jug. And it's, it, what it is, is it's a laxative, believe it or not. But it's, it, it really is. But you, you put it on, um, you use a paper towel, and you just kind of like, dump it over just enough um and onto like a paper towel or like a pad or something and just wiping it on your chest um where you're gonna apply the tape and it's super important because if you use too much of it it has to stay thin because if you use too much it will come off in the water it will stay on during the day like (laughs) i personally have it had this happen to me so it's fine um so i tested it you guys now you can learn i but if you put it because i was thinking it's itching so bad. I just want to put it like a super right. thick layer. Like I'll be so protected. And right. but it actually made it to where the adhesive was too far from my skin to have a like a solid bond. And then it was fine throughout the day. But then once I went swimming, I could feel it start to kind of like lift up a little bit. And so that's like a big thing to make sure and practice. Like don't put milk of magnesia on and thinking that you can go to the pool today for the first time with it. Like make sure that you've tested it like in the shower that day, you know, before you do anything else. Um, because if you do a thin layer, it stays, it has a nice solid hold. But, um, if you, yeah, if you do a layer that's too thick, you can run into that problem. But that thin layer will help a lot with protecting your skin. I have acne on my chest a little bit, especially where my trans tape starts and ends. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I'll wear it 
a little bit longer than I probably should. I wear it for probably like five days straight. Five, days. and then it starts to get like really sticky. Like happened to me today. Like I straight up, had, I was like, I just gotta get straight in the shower. It's just too sticky. I gotta get yeah. this off. But um, but no, that that can really help in um and kind of help your application be a little bit more sensitive to sensitive skins and sensitive chests. That's a tight as fuck tip, bro. Thank you for that. But you know what that reminded me when you said, you know, test it out first. I think that should be a rule in general with your trans tape for new users. You know, you get it. You're so, you're so frick fracking excited. Oh my frick fracking God. I'm going to do this right now. <laughs> but we got to, we got to slow a roll. We got to do the test strip because that's an easy step to skip, but it's super important for us at the help desk to help y'all out because you'll come to us and say, I'm having this reaction, which like we've already discussed can be a, a product of overstretching the tape, not rounding your corners, wrinkles, scratching over the tape. And in order for us to rule out an allergy, we need to have known that you did the test strip. And if you did not have a reaction to the test strip, then it is not an allergy. And then you know that there is something that went wrong in your application. You can go back, try to correct it, and do it again. It actually helps speed up your guys' time too, because if you come to the top desk and is like, I'm having all these problems, we're gonna say, did you do a test trip? And then you're right. gonna, if you're being honest with us, you'll say, no, I actually did skip that step. And then we'll say, okay, well, let's start there first. You need to, to do that, wait 24 hours. So then you end up having to wait an extra day when you could have got help right after, okay, I did the test trip, I'm good, it's not bothering me has to be something else so then we move on to the other things and it kind of points us in the right direction based on how your skin does and where you put your strip and you communicate with Bo in the chat exactly exactly and if you're a new user you're gonna want a, lo a lot of people get it for like an event you know like I'm going to a wedding let me get this trans tape so yeah. that I can be comfortable dancing all night longer than eight hours, longer than it's recommended in a binder and I can be safe and I can be comfy, but this is my first time. So there is a learning curve as, as we've said before, and you might not get it on the first try and you're already putting pressure on yourself by ha giving yourself a deadline, right? Like I got to wear this at the wedding. That's why I got this, yeah. but it's right. It's right. Exactly. So you you want you want to give yourself time to practice and you don't want to give yourself these deadlines you want to make sure that you can you have a nice day at home you don't really have much to do put on your trance tape wear it around the house if something goes wrong if you overstretched it it pops off if you have to take it off immediately because you feel the pulling if it's you know burning or in pain you're not you're not in the middle of coals you know if it you did the milk of magnesia and it one completely falls off you're not like in the middle of a swimming pool, <laughs> you know, right. So you want to make sure that you try it out and that you got a hold of your method before you're somewhere where you can't fix it or you can't take it off. Yeah. And for me, that was three months. And that was before there was such a thing as a video tutorial. <laughs> right. That was when it was just Kai Charlie. in my DM Bye. saying... Bye. Try Why bending aren't you bending your over? Corners, your corners. Laying down, Bo. Why tell me about try that. Try bending over. Oh or with try a partner. I've heard down. something about a partner. <laughs> laying down, yes. Bo. Tell me about that. Oh my gosh. Okay, or with so, a partner. I've heard something about a partner. Yes. So at our last trans tape photo shoot, we had the the Mayhem women's football team. And yes. Main Mayhem, they were so great. I love them so much. And their colors are purple and purple, white. Purple, white, and right? black, yeah. It looks really good. Purple, white, and black, yeah. And then it was like the exact same shade as, of purple as our Pride Purple. So, of course, we did them all up in the purple. And I applied tape to four of those women. I showed them my tutorial on YouTube first. 
and was like, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. This is what I'm familiar with. I'm, I'm familiar with masculinizing the chest. So I'm going to do my method on each of you. And they were all very different. And I did my method the same on all of them, except like some women... One, one of the women, her breasts lived very close together and she had very perky breasts. Um, they were firm, you know. So un, very unlike mine where I, they are shallow from weight loss and um, my skin elasticity has probably increased over time from keeping my chest in this position, you know, and binding, you know. So um, our skin types are very different. So her result was a lot more full than mine is because with mine I do a a fold in my breast that kind of like tucks it underneath my armpit because of my shallow skin I'm able to do that comfortably um someone with more fuller breasts might not be able to do that but might still benefit from my method like those women did you know and they said that because of uh, it moved them a little bit out of the way, it made their equipment fit better in front of their chest. Fucking full ass football players with the fucking big ass shoulder pads. And they were like holding them down. They kept w before we taped them up, they kept doing this all the time because it would rise up from their chest anatomy because this these shoulder pads aren't made for them. And they would push, it would push up the pads. Right. right. It's not, the, oh. it's not made for their anatomy. Oh, so they couldn't this. like even breathe really. Outside. Right. So that's why they were so much better afterwards. Because it helps their actual equipment fit them better. Equipment that's not made for their bodies in their sport, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. But whatever. But anyway, so I got all those women I did with my method where I bend over and then I use the tape to help me fold my chest down. But you can also cuz you know when you're laying in bed unbound, you know, sometimes they fall towards your armpits and that's pretty much where you want the tissue to be. So it might be right. It might be a lot easier for you instead of bending over like I do. It might be easier for you to lay down on your back in bed and like kind of be on the edge of your bed and use that position of your chest already to kind of let your tape keep it down in that way. Right. Exactly. And that might also help you um, from pulling too much because I use the tape to pull my tissue. So that might it might be easier for you to be already laying down and let gravity help you as opposed to having to do the pulling yourself. Sure. Yeah, and I, I like even when I'm laying down, even if I'm not wearing my tape, and it's a it's a off day, and I'm laying on my back, and like just watching TV, it like where they naturally fall, it makes like the center of your chest feel so big, and it makes you yeah. feel like yeah, like right now, like like it makes you feel like everything's where you want it to stay, right. laying there, right? And it can yeah. can help. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I've taken like when I'm feeling myself, you know, laying down in bed, I like to take selfies, like that without binding and it yeah and it looks a lot better well it's because we're it's like it's your skin that's your skin it's like right. warm it's not like adhesive or trans tape or even a binder it's i've also seen people use uh gender cat adhesive nipples on top of their trans tape to have a nipple oh, yeah. that for their anatomy that if they want to show that like a lot of drag people or uh i've only seen drag people do it but as far as i i know but i i wanted to get some to try it like at least for a video like it's always worth a video <laughs> I'm, you know? I'm super like, curious <laughs> about that i was talking with my partner the other day uh tim about this and like how because i'm so i've been binding with trans tape for years i have seen i like yeah, <laughs> the amount of time that I have familiarized myself with my own nipples, you know, it's not a lot. So at this point, I'm like, when I get top surgery, I could just not have nipples. I haven't seen them in so long. You know, I don't like with my methods. Sometimes I can't even feel my nipples at all because, you know, they're rolled under. <laughs> so um, so now I'm just like. 
I'm so like I'm so not used to the nipple experience anymore that it's like whatever if it's gonna make my top surgery cheaper sure forget them <laughs> and then I'll go I'll just go get heart shaped tat heart shaped nipple tattoos later because I want heart nipples anyways <laughs> and you can perfectly decide where you want them. I just want to have little hearts where my nipples are supposed to be. Yeah, I think I think that'd be super cute. You could like get a color like a like a like a marker even. Yeah, yeah instead, instead of being under the knife and having the surgeon be wait like, for a day. That's where your no, nipples are, are gonna go. High. Right. Yeah. Wait for a day. Uh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. I get it. I got you. Yeah. So. But I, I think but I, I, I will try, out, try out, the out the nipple if, if not just if draw on nipples, nipples or something. Just see. <laughs> oh my god. We killed our list. So what should episode three be about? Maybe you should ask the people. If what you guys tell us. You guys tell us. Yeah. If you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, drop in the comments. Tell us what the next episode should be. We'll talk about everything else instead because that's how we do, but Yeah, you know, we'll try. We'll try to stay on we'll some topic it. somewhere. <laughs> we'll get a list. Yes, and make sure you subscribe wherever you're watching this. Yes. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this whole thing. Holy crap. Longest outro ever. Longest outro ever, but it's because we love you guys. We're just gonna give you the best of the best of ourselves. Thank you. And we're still Subscribe. Uh, bye. Good night. Thank you, and good night. Good night. <laughs> we're out.